Sarah, how are you today? A bit rushed and a bit, oh, just my hair, didn't have time to do my hair, couldn't find a car parking space. Just a bit, whoa, oh, today, but no. Whew. Have you brought a sample of urine with, with you today? Oh, no. Okay. Really. Do you think you could go yeah. past urine now? Yeah. Okay. Explain to the woman what you are going to do and gain her consent. The woman should have her legs uncrossed and ensure that her arm is exposed without any clothing constricting the arm. And then wrap the cuff around her upper arm two to three centimetres above the site where you palpated the brachial pulse. The cuff should be placed centrally so that the pressure is distributed centrally when the cuff is inflated. Ensure the valve on the balloon of the cuff is closed. Whilst palpating the brachial pulse in the anticubital fossa, position the sphygmonometer so that it is at level with her heart. Pump up the cuff quickly until the pulse is no longer palpated. Then slowly deflate the cuff until the pulse is palpable. This gives you the approximate systole reading. Now quickly deflate the cuff, opening the valve fully. Wait for one minute if using the same arm to allow the circulation to return fully. Now put the ear pieces in your ears and place the stethoscope diaphragm over the site of the brachial pulse. Then continue to inflate the cuff 30 millimetres of mercury higher. Please note, in pregnant women, it may not be possible to hear when the sounds disappear completely. Karotikov 5. Therefore, the start of the muffled sounds, Karotikov 4, should be taken as the diastolic pressure. Discuss with the woman your findings and document the reading. Then encourage the woman to adopt her position of choice and ensure that you act on any abnormal findings.